Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Keel Dyken. So I've been in contact quite recently with a buddy of mine and he's been asking me a lot of questions about VPNs and I've been using them now for about the past five or six years. Uh, and personally, I prefer the Express VPN. This allows me to download movies and access the internet, uh, going behind firewalls in other countries around the world without being fully detected. And the thing that I love about Express VPN is they don't keep logs. And right now, if you guys are using a your internet without a VPN, I would get off the internet right now, stop what you're doing, make sure you're downloading a program such as this, because this will mask your IP address and protect you from people snooping in on your internet. Now this isn't foolproof, but it is a good thing to have because that way your internet service provider won't be sending you copyright or infringement uh, notifications in your email or to your at home address saying, hey, we caught you downloading some movies or doing something that you weren't supposed to do. But nevertheless, having a VPN is very important and vital to your home security and to your home network. And again, the other added benefit is it allows you to access different uh, networks across the world and access it behind their firewall. So for example, sometimes if I'm watching a YouTube video or something, you'll get the advertisement, it'll be in English. However, if I change to that country, I'll see all their ads in their specific language. So I'm going to show you guys the things that I love about ExpressVPN, some of the concerns you guys may have, and why it is a benefit to you. So this is ExpressVPN and I've been using this program now for the past several years and it allows me to access the internet, download movies or do whatever it is I need to and it gives me a different IP address. And then of course it allows me to access different countries and see what they have available. Uh, a few months ago, if you guys follow my channel, there's a guy who's in the arcade retro gaming uh, scene. His name is Richie Knuckles. And he did a TV show. Um, there was a lady. She I, actually I met him. Uh, well, actually I met this lady online, and she asked me for some referrals or whatever. And so I introduced her to Richie Knuckles, and he ended up doing a TV spot for uh, the Discovery Channel. Now the only down part about that is the show was originally aired over in the United Kingdom. It has not aired yet in America. I think that it is but it's called Billy's uh, Billy Buys Brooklyn. And so we wanted to watch it, whatever, because it was in another country. However, because I'm in the United States, nobody had access to it. So in order for me to access that uh, uh, Discovery Channel TV show, I had to log in under the United Kingdom. I'll show you guys the different list that we have here. So I had to log in under the United Kingdom and one of our mutual friends, she let me log into her Discovery Plus account where I could download it. If I was still using my United States IP address, it would not let me see it on the server. So again, just showing you guys that this is an added benefit of having a VPN is because it will allow you to access other countries, uh, TV programming, and other special packages and features that they have. So I had to go here, select United Kingdom, I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. And then I'm going to pull up a website that's going to pull up my IP address. In fact, uh, let me go ahead and pull it up so you guys can see it. All right, and as you can see, I am now in the United Kingdom. And so this is my IP address right now because this is showing that I am in London, England. And so once I disconnect from that, this is going to change my IP address because it will show me somewhere else. So let's go ahead and change it to Switzerland. And let's go ahead and hit refresh. It, it should change if I hit refresh. If not, uh, see, there we go. So now I'm in Switzerland. So again, these are some of the added benefits of having a 
uh, VPN because it masks your true IP address and allows you to access things uh, in other countries. So uh, the reason why I decided to get one years ago was because of for reasons like this so I could just download things without my ISP snooping. However, just to let you guys know, there are some downfalls about using a VPN. Uh, number one, the thing that I don't like the most about VPNs is, especially with this one, <coughs> this one slows down your internet connection. And so some VPNs, they recommend that you add their service or add this app to your home router. Now, not every router can, uh, support VPNs. There are very few of them that will do that. I don't recommend it because it will slow down your gaming. So for example, I have my home computer, I have my Xbox and a number of other high speed devices in the house. And if I install the VPN directly on my router, it'll cut down the internet speed, probably about 25 to about 40%. I don't want that. I primarily only use this when I'm getting ready to access the internet and maybe download some things that I don't want my ISP to see. And so that's how it benefits for me. Now, another cool thing for VPNs is if you are at a Denny's or a restaurant, let's say you're traveling abroad, uh, they do have a mobile app. So if you do want to access your hotel room's uh, internet connection, I highly recommend that you use the mobile app for ExpressVPN or any VPN that has a mobile app so that way your data is secure and that it is encrypted. And that is another thing too, when you are using a VPN, your information and your data is encrypted. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the options. And I wanna pull up Let's pull up a quick speed test here. We could run a test here. So as you can see, the internet speeds, I have a, what is it, my, I think my internet speed is like 400 megs down, something like that, and about 25 megs up. So you can see that I'm taking a hit here on my download speed. So this is also good too if you guys are using peer-to-peer -peer networks, if you're using things such as Cube, uh, BitTorrent and you're downloading files, uh, people can see your IP address when you do that. But however, if you use an ExpressVPN or any VPN, it masks your IP address uh, so that way people don't actually know who you are when you're downloading things through a uh, share browser. So here are all the internet speeds. If I were to connect directly to any of these uh, locations or these uh, countries, uh, let's go ahead and exit out of this. Just giving you guys an idea about what it looks like. And let's go to options. You can start this with your windows setup or you can start minimize. Again, personally, I would start this uh, I don't have mine started, but if you're just getting new to this and you're always downloading stuff, I would start this when you're always starting up your computer. And then, of course, over here, uh, you have uh, your account. But the other cool thing is it has this link here or this option for network lock. Stop all Internet traffic and VPN disconnects unexpectedly. So let's say, for example, your computer is, is getting ready to crash. You got a few apps that are just get ready to crash. And let's say ExpressVPN is one of them. Well, this will shut down and block all internet traffic because suppose you're downloading something through BitTorrent and your VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Well, that will remove the masking of the IP address. So you don't want to continuously download, do you? While your VPN is uh, down and let's say you're out at the store or whatever, no, you want everything to shut down while the VPN is not active. So this is why I have this option selected. It stops all internet traffic if this ever becomes disconnected. So that's always another good thing to have. Uh, let's take a look at some of the options here. And again, you have all these same features if you have this on Android or your iOS device. You also have shortcuts for browser extensions. This is uh, will work for uh, Google Chrome or Mo Mozilla Firefox. So you got a number of different options there that you can select. And let's go back here to United States. I'll just leave this as a favorite. All 
All right, so let's take a look at the cost really quick. Uh, this is really affordable too. I think I pay about uh, 15 bucks a month or 15 bucks every two or three months for ExpressVPN. Let's go back here. All right, so here are the plans. You pay for one month, $12.95, or you pay six months for $6.67, and then you pay six months for $9.99. Now, with the middle plan, you do get three months free. Unfortunately, they do not have a lifetime plan, and if they did, I would sign up as yesterday because I've had this now for over six years, and this is pretty much one of the plans that I have been paying on. So um, it's really it's, it's really an added benefit. Don't look at this as a cost because keep in mind, I mean, again, you don't want other people to have your IP address or if you are into downloading movies or music, you want to make sure that you are protected because what will happen is if your ISP, your Internet service provider, sees you downloading too many uh, unauthorized materials, they'll cut you off and they'll give your information to uh, the lawyer, well, not the lawyer, but the law firm that uh, will typically, well, uh, it's, it's not the law firm, it's a cyber watchdog community that governs intellectual property rights, so they'll sell your information or give it to them if you ever get caught uh, more. And, and some ISPs are lenient, usually it's like five times within the course of a year, or uh, a little bit longer than that, you, I would check your own internet service providers. But eventually, they will give your your information up if you get caught too many times. So again, this is just added for additional peace of mind. Six months, nine ninety nine. Twelve months, six sixty seven. And one month, twelve dollars and ninety nine uh, ninety five cents. Uh, but again, this is a program that you guys will have. Uh, I do believe that ExpressVPN is rated number one. And as far as I know, this is one of the fewer uh, VPNs that don't sell logs. In fact, there was another VPN company. I can't think of their name. They got busted a few months ago and they didn't want to comply with the court. They told the court that they didn't keep logs or anything. And so I think they uh, they got some stiffer penalties because they didn't want to give up any information because they don't keep logs. And so that's something else to keep in mind is make sure you sign up for a VPN. Even if you don't go with ExpressVPN, that does not keep logs. And as far as I know, ExpressVPN does not keep logs. But all in all, um, I just wanted to go ahead and share this uh, video with you guys, show you this information about why I love ExpressVPN and VPNs in general. Um, they are recommended. I mean, they are a necessity. Um, I think one of the guys that was asking me questions about VPNs wanted to use it for uh, cryptocurrency and doing some uh, data mining. However, uh, I think I forgot to tell them that if you are using it for data mining, it does cut down on your internet service speed. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Uh, you're not going to get your full 200 or 300 or 400 uh, megabyte download if you are using a VPN. Again, it is pretty much cut down in half to more than you know, 50% depending upon what server you are connected to. But this is a good feature to have. I highly recommend it. Uh, this is, again, I've used this for a number of years. And if you are planning on downloading any type of infringing material or uh, videos or music that you do not own, then this is what you need to use. You have to use a VPN. This is something I recommend. Yeah, I wouldn't use this for gaming. I don't see any added benefit to that. However, uh, it does give you the same protections, but all in all, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you think if you are interested in ExpressVPN. This is something I vouch for. It is rated probably number one or maybe number two uh, in terms of VPNs. Uh, my personal preference is I've stuck with this one. I've had it a uh, number of years, never had any problems with it. And you can access it all around the world. It has 160 locations with 94 countries. You will not have any problems with this VPN. Uh, again, the only issue I have with it is the download time. I, if I'm uploading something to YouTube and I'm downloading something at the same time, uh, it does take a drastic hit because the service that is going through uh, isn't as fast as connecting directly to your internet service provider. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope the information I provided to you has been helpful. Again, this goes for, you know, they have a number of different plans, $6, $12.99 for over the course of the year, and allows you to connect to other countries around the world, see their videos, and see exactly what they have. I mean, it's highly beneficial. you got to have it. And again, this is Keel Dykin. Let me know what you think. Peace out, guys. You guys all have a great night, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.